Welcome back guys. Today we have another video on the golf cart. I have a whole series of videos for this that I'll link up here in the top corner. But today we're gonna to be talking about watering your battery. So if you have an electric golf cart, there is some maintenance that you need to perform at least every uh, six months. A lot of people recommend once a year. I recommend doing it before and after golf cart season, which I consider in the springtime. And then in the fall, when it gets a little too cold to start riding in your cart. So the supplies you need today are some gloves. I have some nitrile gloves. I have some distilled water. Make sure it's distilled, not spring water. It has less minerals and contaminants in it. Uh, it's better for your batteries in the long term. And then you need something to be able to pour the water in without spilling it everywhere. So I just have this cup that came with our steam mop. Your golf cart most likely has six to eight batteries. You can see I have two, two, and two. So I have six batteries. I have fully charged the batteries. It is important to fully charge the batteries before you put water in them. To access the cells, uh, you can just twist off these caps. So I'm gonna twist off all four caps for this one battery. And I can see my water level is down about an inch to an inch and a half. And I wanna fill them up half an inch from the top. I'll give you a peek down in there so that you can see they are a little bit low. The plates are not showing. If the plates are showing, it's bad news. So make sure you definitely keep it filled up above the plate levels. So to do this, I'm just going to fill up this little pouring device. And then I'm going to pour it into each of the cells. And I'm gonna spill a little bit probably, but I'm just gonna fill them up here to about a half inch from the top. Since you made it this far, it'd be awesome if you had hit that thumbs up button and then subscribe to my channel. I'll get you in a little bit closer here and you can see that all the cells are now full. And now I can go ahead and put those caps back on and move on to the next battery. So with the first gallon of water, I was able to fill one, two, three, and then two cells on the fourth battery. So I'm gonna need about two gallons of water. I recommend you go ahead and purchase about three gallons of distilled water. It's not gonna go bad before you need to do this again. So start with three to four gallons of this distilled water so that you can get the project done. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. It'd be awesome if you'd click that logo in the bottom left-hand corner to subscribe to my channel and maybe even check out one of my other videos shown on the right. As always, I hope you guys have a great day.